Hello and welcome to SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorials with anubhavtrainings.com. In this session, today we will discuss about time hierarchy with charts. As we can see here, time is also treated as hierarchy and it can be broken down into pieces like starting from the top level as year, then you can drill down to a quarter and then you can drill down to maybe months, weeks, days and you can drill down up to probably seconds. So time is also always treated as a hierarchy. Whenever we have date columns in an SAP Analytics Cloud data set, that will automatically create a hierarchy of time and allows us to visualize the data over a period of time by default breakups of year, quarter, H1, the half years, as well as months. Let's go ahead and analyze one sample test data with the time hierarchy in SAP Analytics Cloud with a practical example. So we'll switch over to the system. And again, I'm going to quickly go ahead and add a chart in our system. And this chart is going to reference the Netflix year, last, uh, last couple of years movies and shows data. So we added a chart and now we will add it as a vertical chart. And let me go ahead and add the number of count and also as a dimension for the types. So now we can see here movies and TV shows in total, which were released over last couple of years. Now, interestingly, I already have in my data set the date on which the particular movie or the show was released. So this is already part of my date dimension. You can see here, this is what system already detected smartly as a date column. Now, if you always have a date as part of your data set, this can naturally automatically becomes a hierarchy and called time hierarchy. So we can analyze now the data based on the time hierarchy quickly in the system. So what you just have to do is go ahead and add this also as your, um, as your dimension, time as a dimension. So we'll switch over and we'll go to the designer panel and let's go ahead and add dimension as the date added. You can see this tiny little symbol indicates that this is also going to represent a hierarchy. So which is the time hierarchy for us. Let's select that. And now you can see currently it's showing the total number of movies and TV shows released by Netflix on all the dates and all the time. Now what I can do is a light, nice little button also here and you can see different levels of hierarchy. So as I started with E over all the years and it can go up to years, half yearlies, quarters and probably up to exact dates. So that's a level of hierarchy which we have it available automatically the moment we add a date dimension to our chart. Let's switch over to level two and you can see it's showing you for the years, all the years 2008, 9, 10. Maybe you can also go ahead and add a filter on let's say a date range and maybe I would like to just do it for last two years and now you can see it's showing me 18, 19 and 20. We can further drill down to level three and now you can see it is showing for 2018, 19 per quarter. Let's also further drill down to level four and now you can see it is showcasing for all four quarters across all the years in our chart. Maybe now it's time that I need to maximize my chart size. Yeah, to visualize it better. You can also change here the different color palettes to see the color patterns for your data set. Of course, you can also add a color as your time dimension. So for example, I would like to add my date added as a color and now you can see system is showing us different colors over here for the same date dimension. Maybe I'll take rid of it and maybe I go to the last level which is dates. And now you would see system will show us all the data across the date. So typically when you use date as your dimension, it's a good practice to switch over to a time series chart 
rather than a bar chart. So that looks much better and is standard when it comes to the dates because that shows a better data patterns to you on the system. So you can see this is our time series chart. Usually we use for showcasing times and now here we have an option to also change this. You might have seen this very often when we want to build an application which showcase stock prices. How it is changing over last couple of months, years. You can always do that over here when it comes to a time series chart. So let us also understand some more interesting features here. So I will switch it over back to the bar chart and maybe we will reset our hierarchy to let's say level two. So what you can also do, you can further drill down over here itself to the time dimension. So if for example, I select 2019 movies data or TV shows data, I can select and you have a nice little button to drill down to only analyze 2019 TV shows. And when you drill down, you can see it shows me now for 2019 year, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four data. We can further drill down only in quarter one. And as you can see in January, February, and March in the quarter one, this is the data distribution for the movies and TV shows. You can further drill down only in the month of January and that's the data and now you can also switch it over back to a time series chart which will show you the month of January what was the pattern. So this is the way we can really uh, utilize SAP Analytics Cloud to analyze our data on different ways and fashion and then ultimately this data can be presented based on the user's need wherein users can probably take more confident decisions. So I hope you enjoyed this session. If you would like to attend my end-to-end -end training on SAP Analytics Cloud with real-time scenarios and all-in-one training sessions, you can subscribe our training on anubavtrainings.com and I will see you in the next video.